long division questions to help you out. So we're asked to divide p minus 2 into p squared minus 5p plus 6. We take the leftmost term and we divide the p into p squared. That gives me a p. Now what we need to do is take that p that we just calculated and multiply it by the two things outside the brackets. So p by p is p squared and p by minus 2 is minus 2p. The next step, change the sign on the bottom line and add. So we add or subtract even vertically. So p squared minus p squared is 0 and minus 5p plus 2p is minus 3p. <clears throat> Bring down the minus or the plus 6. And now we start again. And remember the steps are just divide, multiply back and then subtract. So take the leftmost term again and the p on the left divides into minus 3p minus 3 times. Multiply back minus 3 by p is minus 3p and minus 3 by uh, minus 2 is plus 6. Change the sign on the bottom line and we get 0. So our answer is just p minus 3. It's the thing on top of the square root sign. Second one. <clears throat> Same steps. We divide the leftmost terms, multiply back, and then we subtract by changing the sign on the bottom line and adding. So take the leftmost term and the leftmost term. 6b squared divided by 2b is 3b. Now multiply back. 3b by the two terms outside the square root sign. Give me that. Okay, change the sign on the bottom line and add. And we do that vertically. So 6b squared minus 6b squared, they're gone. Plus 1b minus 15b is minus 14b. And then bring down the minus 35. Okay, the leftmost term and the leftmost term. 2b divides into minus 14b, minus 7 times. And now we multiply back by the minus 7 against or on the 2b and the 5. <clears throat> Change the sign on the bottom line and add and we get 0. And our answer there to the question is 3b minus 7.